Hi, I would like to uh, show you today how to use Crowdmark, uh, an integration which allows faculty to grade files which are handwritten by students. So we'll go ahead and uh, start by creating a content area where the Crowdmark tool will reside. Uh, we're doing this uh, because at the moment Crowdmark is not available as a course tool. So we'll go ahead and type in here Crowdmark and we will not make it available to users. All right. So the idea is that this is going to be a tool that is uh, used by the faculty member uh, to grade uh, documents. And we find the tool under Assessments. We'll go ahead and uh, select Crowdmark. And now we are going to type in the name of the test. So let's say that this is going to be the final uh, exam. And this is important because uh, this name will become later our grade column in the Grade Center. All the other settings uh, look just fine. Uh, we can uh, uh, make sure that uh, this grade column is selected and this looks perfect. We'll go ahead and press Submit. So now we have uh, the link generated. Again, students will not have access to it. It's only for the faculty member. Let's go ahead and use the tool now. So we are now redirected to crowdmark.com uh, and uh, we can uh, select uh, whether this test is uh, uh, in person or done independently. We'll go ahead and go with the administrative test. Now it's time to select the template uh, which is being used for the uh, exam. And so I have a template here in a PDF format uh, which basically tells us how many questions there are and leaves areas for students to write on. So we'll go ahead and press next. Uh, now it's time to import students from Blackboard um, and it so happens that uh, I don't have a lot of students so let me fix that momentarily. We'll go back here and uh, add a couple of students. Um, and the reason why we need students in the course is because the PDF out of the template will be generated for each student. So that's fine. Let's get another student here enrolled. Um, and uh, we'll say OK to that. Excellent. So now we have a couple of students. Let's go ahead and get them imported. We have two students who are going to take this particular test. We'll continue. Uh, we'll set this to 0 and we'll say Generate PDF. So now out of the template, we just generated uh, a full uh, set of exam files. And so if we were to preview these exam files, all right, uh, we'll notice that uh, there is uh, a QR code being used and there is uh, a place for each student to go ahead and to answer uh, the questions and to fill this uh, basically in uh, uh, pencil or pen to, uh, to turn in the handwritten test. All right, we'll go ahead now to, uh, uh, to the dashboard. And now we are uh, ready to uh, do some grading. We'll say start grading. And uh, there are two students, all right? And uh, the, there are three questions in each template. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, uh, upload the test. So I missed here a step, we'll go back and we're going to upload the assessment. So now once students completed filling out the PDF, we uh, scanned it all back in and we have this uh, really long file. And so uh, the file is right here. Now it's being imported uh, eight pages and uh, uh, slowly we're going to uh, uh, receive, let me just make sure I upload the right document. Uh, have the final exam one. That's the one. All right, and so we can see pages being recognized. Again, those QR codes are, are important there. And we are ready to uh, proceed. 
So let's go back to dashboard and we're going to say we're ready for grading. So now each one of these uh, uh, spots is a question. Uh, the rows are students and now vertically we have questions. So we could perhaps delegate all questions one to be graded by one person or all questions two by a second person. But this is now how grading will look like. We can preview uh, what students uh, um, drew or perhaps what they wrote in. We can uh, provide feedback for them. Uh, we can uh, type and leave notes. But also we are ready to grade. So we'll go ahead and grant five points for this attempt. We'll grant uh, three points for the next attempt and uh, maybe six points for this one. Uh, if we say next ungraded, it'll basically move us within the same question to the next student. Uh, and so we can go ahead and uh, complete uh, grading. Uh, and this looks fine. We'll say OK. And the last one is OK. All right, so now let's return to the grading grid. We can see that all the questions have now been uh, completed. With this uh, in place, we are ready now to match the students in Blackboard with the assessment. And so this would be done by now previewing and perhaps verifying the name and then selecting the correct uh, identity uh, of the student. So now we have our electronic assessments matched with students in Blackboard. We are now ready to um, export it back to Blackboard. So this looks fine. We will go to results and now we are ready to press the export button. We do not have to export to CSV uh, but we go ahead and export directly to the LMS and we can see that there's processing and it's completed as I navigate back to Blackboard. I can uh, log into the Grade Center and uh, uh, as I scroll to the end of my um, grade book, I can see that the final exam was created and I can make it uh, visible to students. So that's the integration with uh, CrowdMark and uh, uh, just let me mention also that uh, within the, uh, uh, the CrowdMark content area, for each new exam, I would go ahead and, and create a new CrowdMark um, item. And so if there are five or six exams, that's what we'll see here. And every time you click on the specific exam, it'll take you to CrowdMark and log you in to, uh, to those files so that you can go ahead and, and preview uh, the exam that relates to this menu item. So uh, you would see within the content area a number of CrowdMark entries for each a great center column. Well, I hope this was uh, helpful to you uh, and to have a great day.